What really intrigues me, here we have Mr. Park and Mr. Scalati. What really intrigues me is how both these composers were born in the same year, yet have moved in such opposite directions, musical directions. Bach tended to look backwards at the serious North German predecessors, such as Buxtehude, and also at you know, old and archaic uh, church traditions. He was actually very, very outdated for his time. You know, his music was dense, his music was complicated, and in a, in a word, his music was very baroque. Uh, Scarlatti, on the other hand, was remarkably forward-looking, and in many ways, he really foreshadowed the, um, the classical era of Haydn and Mozart. Now, what do I mean by forward-looking? So now, Haydn, born in 1732, took this new simplicity and new clarity and brought it even further to establish the classical style. But the one thing that's really cool about Haydn is how he manages to, uh, to not just be simple and clear, but to be engaging and to be interesting and to be arresting, you know, while at the same time being simple and clear. So I always think of Haydn as a really big joker. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know him in real life, so <laughs> I don't know whether he jokes, but certainly in his music, everywhere. I'm sure all of you would have heard of his joke quartet or his surprise symphony. You know, an open ear out for that in the second prelude. But in the other preludes, uh, um, the Phrygian skill is actually all over the place as well. But in those cases, I think the point was to use this Phrygian inflection to create a sense of Russianness, or at least a sense that this music is not your usual German, French, or Italian music. It is Russian. So do keep an ear out for that. And finally, before I pass the stage back to Yen, I'd like to make one final comment on the Opus 32 preludes. So these preludes actually complete a cycle of 24 preludes in all the major and minor keys. And this is very obviously an homage to J.S. Bach and his well-tempered clavier. Rachmaninoff wrote his very first prelude when he was 19 years old, the famous C-sharp minor prelude. And then 10 years later, he wrote his Opus 23 preludes, uh, a set of 10 preludes. And then another 10 years later, so altogether 20 years later, he writes the Opus 32 uh, preludes that you'll hear later, uh, and altogether they form 24 preludes in all the different keys. Now what really fascinates Yen and I is how Rachmaninoff consciously connects the Opus 32 preludes to the C-sharp minor prelude written 20 years earlier. <laughs> 